on day one, I spawned in as Goku. I didn't have long to look around, though, because suddenly the ground began to shake. I ran outside and saw the entire world look like it was in ruins. I spotted my friend Piccolo and quickly ran to him. Hey, what's going on? Why is there so much destruction? Bozo, come with me quick. Someone gathered all seven of the Dragon Balls. Oh, great. I flew off following Piccolo. We didn't have to travel far, and we saw Shenron the Dragon had been summoned. But by who? Finally, I get my wish. This world will be mine at last. I charged that cell to try and stop him, but it was too late. He began using his wishes. I wish for all the threats to me to be in their weakest form. Your wish has been granted. Suddenly, there was a large flash of light and an explosion. I was launched off of the world and sent flying into space. I crash landed far away from my home and realized that wait, I'm a child again. Is this really what my weakest form is? I began to search the strange new world. Since I was a child now, I only had five hearts. I needed to find a way to gain my strength back. I looked around the world and had no idea what I would be able to do. I tried to fly. Oh man, I'm not able to. I noticed I was starting to starve too. I need to find food. I spotted a bull in the middle of the field. Okay, this should be a piece of cake. I began to charge at him and try to attack him using my super strength, but realized most of my strength was gone. This isn't good. The bull began to charge at me. He dealt some serious damage. I had to run, but oh, he was chasing me. I ran into a forest and eventually was able to lose the bull. Whew. That was a close one. Since I didn't have my strength, I knew that I was going to need to find some other way to get stronger. I began to chop some trees down and use the wood to create a crafting table. Afterwards, I crafted myself a set of wooden tools. Hopefully, this can help me regain my strength. I set off to find my friend Piccolo. I just hope he's not in his weakest form as well. On day three, I traveled throughout the night and eventually came across a village. I saw Piccolo was there. He was fighting a dinosaur. You beast. You will not harm this village anymore. I stepped in to try and help, but the dinosaur turned on me and knocked me back. I was far too weak to fight against him. Don't worry, Fuzo. I have this handled. A few more hits, and he took out the dinosaur. Piccolo, I'm so weak, but I don't think I'm gonna be stuck in this form forever. I can sense that your power is still within you, Fuzo. You must train to regain your strength. Piccolo took me inside the village and began to cook some of the dinosaur meat. He gave me the meat and told me to eat it. I did as I was told. After eating, I was starting to feel much stronger. Wow, I guess I was just hungry. Thank you for that. I really needed it. Thankfully, even though I was reduced to my weakest form, Piccolo was still at full strength. Strength. I guess Cell didn't consider him as much of a threat as I was. It was getting late though, so I decided to rest in the village for the night. On day four, I woke up and asked Piccolo if he knew any way I would be able to gain my strength back. The easiest way for you to regain your strength in this form would be to acquire a weapon. I remember when I originally began my training as a child. I always used my trusty bow staff. That's my next goal. I'm gonna need to recreate one in order to fight. That's a great idea, Fozo. Before that, I was going to need a place to stay. The village was crowded, so I wanted to create my own base. I found a nice place close to the village to start building. I began to build myself a small shelter and crafted a few chests with the leftover wood. I wanted to be close to Piccolo. I knew I would need him in case of another attack. Once my base was finished, I set off to mine stone. I gathered as much of it as I could and returned to my base. I used some of the stone to craft some furnaces, so when I found iron, I would have a place to smelt it. I heard a large rumbling in the sky, though, and wondered if that was Cell. I know I need to stop him, because who knows what planet he plans on destroying next. I then used the remaining stone, along with some of my leftover wood, to craft myself a stone set of tools. And look at that. I even made myself a stone bow staff. Now I had the weapon I needed to begin my training. On day five, Piccolo woke me up and told me that we were going to go train. The best way for you to become stronger is to fight stronger opponents. So I need you to go into the jungle and fight a beast in there. All right, sounds good. You're coming too, right? No can do, Fozo. You need to do this on your own. Are you sure, Piccolo? What if this doesn't even make me stronger? Piccolo insisted. I left for the jungle. And when I arrived, a herd of sheep was being attacked by a jungle cat. Hey, leave those sheep alone. I attacked the jungle cat using my wooden bow staff. The jungle cat took some damage, but wasn't going down. I was starting to get angry. Leave these sheep alone. I started to feel power dwell within my body and turned back into my adult form. I even had 10 hearts again. I hit the tiger with my stone bow staff and easily took it down. It looks like I did get my old strength back and I can even fly again. The sheep thanked me for saving them and decided to come back with me to base. I was traveling back to the village to show Piccolo I'd regained some of my strength, but when I arrived, it was under attack. I saw Piccolo fighting with Frieza. Piccolo was no match for Frieza and was being overpowered. Stop! Fozo, I should have known you would be close by. What are you doing here? I have been reduced to this weakened form and need all of the Dragon Balls to obtain my strength back. There is a Dragon Ball at this village and I must 
obtain it. Not if I have anything to say about it. I charged at Frieza, thinking with my newfound power I would be able to defeat him. But it clearly wasn't hurting him that much. He was still incredibly strong. You pathetic weakling. Even at my weaker form, you are still no match for me. He was right. I was no match for him. He <laughs> laughed, and I fell to the ground and blacked out. Where am I? Am I back on Earth? What is going on here? I saw a village completely destroyed. Who could have done this? Suddenly, there was a purple light in the sky? What is that? I got teleported in the middle of space, and Cell was there in front of all the planets. Cell, what are you doing? <laughs> You're too late, Foza. I am the most powerful being in the entire universe. What? This can't be true. Now, witness the power of perfection. Suddenly, there was a huge explosion, and all the planets were destroyed. Millions of souls flooded out, and all I can do was watch while Cell absorbed all of them. No! On day eight, I woke up back at my base. Ugh, what happened? I noticed Piccolo was in my base and asked him if everything was okay. You put up a good fight, but in the end, Frieza overpowered us and took the Dragon Ball. Oh no, we must stop him from getting the other ones too, or he might become too powerful. We have to find the other Dragon Balls before he does. First, we need to help these villagers. Piccolo and I returned to the village and noticed how much destruction Frieza had caused. We set out to gather material in order to build back the damage that he'd done. Once we had enough, we returned to the village. The two of us began to rebuild it. The villagers were extremely grateful for us helping them. Afterwards, I built a small pen at my base for the sheep to live in using the leftover wood we had gathered. I knew here they would be safer and protected from the monsters that roamed in this world. On days 9 to 10, Piccolo and I were talking, but was interrupted by a villager arriving at my base. Aww. The villager explained that another village had spotted Frieza traveling toward a snow biome. They believed one of the Dragon Balls is located somewhere there. I thanked the villager and knew where I needed to go. I told Piccolo to stay and take care of the village while I located the Dragon Ball. Before I left, I set off toward a nearby cave and began searching for iron. I didn't have to look very long before I found some. I smelted the iron and then used it to create an iron pickaxe as well as an iron bow staff. This should help me in case I have to fight Frieza for the Dragon Ball. With the leftover iron, I also crafted a bucket. I'm definitely going to need this when I start a farm at my base. There's only one thing left to do though, so I flew off toward the ice biome. I arrived in the snow biome when I spotted a group of people fighting. I flew in closer and realized it was Vegeta. He was fighting off with two of Frieza's henchmen. <laughs> if it isn't the weak Fozo, come to save the day. You stand no chance. Vegeta and I began a fight against the duo. I used my bow staff to hit them, and I can tell it hit much harder than my stone one. These guys were nothing compared to Frieza. Eventually, I was able to take down one of them. Vegeta and I ran at the final henchman and made quick work of him. I had it handled. I didn't need your help. Yeah, you can say that, but you looked like you were getting overpowered. It seemed like it was the least I can do, all right? But hey, look, I'm looking for the Dragon Ball that's located in this biome. Seems like we're both looking for the same thing. Vegeta told me that he tracked the Dragon Ball to an ice castle, and it wasn't too far from here. The two of us flew off toward the castle. On days 13 to 14, Vegeta and I went inside the castle, and it was completely covered in ice. There was an earthquake within it, too, and we heard explosions in the distance. We need to keep going. We went deeper into the castle, and the explosions got louder. Suddenly, the earthquakes and explosions stopped, and it was completely quiet. We made it to the end, and Frieza quickly flew past us and out of the castle. Get out of my way! I wonder what his problem is. The Dragon Ball was right there, but there was a giant armored knight guarding it, so that's why Frieza was so scared. Vegeta and I attacked the knight, but the knight took no damage. The knight swung his axe and knocked me back away from him and Vegeta. That swing took more than half of my hearts away. I watched Vegeta attack the knight, but he couldn't deal any damage on that thing either. The knight I knocked Vegeta back with his sword. He was gonna defeat us. I used my bow staff and quickly hit the knight in the back, defeating him. Are you okay, Vegeta? I'll be fine, Fozo. Let's just get the Dragon Ball. We grabbed the Dragon Ball and flew out of the castle. Vegeta also gave me a tracker and told me that this would be an easier way to find the rest of them. We both decided to go our separate ways. He flew off to heal while I flew back to base. On days 15 to 16, I returned to base with the Dragon Ball. I then began to construct a giant Dragon Ball that would serve as a place to store all of them. This was only one out of the seven I was going to need to get to obtain my wish. After starting my Dragon Ball Shrine, I decided it was time to upgrade my base. I began by expanding my home and making myself a nice big bed to sleep on. Next, I added a room just for storage. I filled the room with a bunch of chests. I then added more furnaces so I'd be able to smell iron even faster. Once I finished adding the furnaces, I realized it was a great time to go and gather more. I set off to the cave. It wasn't long before I found some. I brought it back to base to smell and then used it to craft myself an iron chest plate as well as iron boots. It was getting late so I went to sleep for the night. I will consume you. With your power, I will become unstoppable. We have to split up. If we are together, it will be easier for him to get the both of us. You're right.
On day 17 to 18, Piccolo returned to base and informed me about Cell. He told me that Cell is hunting down androids 17 and 18. Oh no. If he absorbs those two, he'll be back to his perfect form. I started to leave the base. A Piccolo flew in front of me. And where do you think you're going? To go and stop Cell. He can't catch those two. You need to focus on getting your strength back, Bozo. I'll find android 17 and 18. <sighs> Fine, Piccolo. He flew off out of the base. This is so frustrating. I need to get my mind off of this. I set off and began to collect dirt as well as seeds from the surrounding areas. I returned back to my base and used the dirt to set up a nice farm area. I crafted a stone hoe and began to plant my seeds in the farm. I connected the farm to the sheep pen in order to give them some food as well as a larger place to roam. I was hanging around my base when suddenly the Dragon Ball tracker began to go off. It had located another Dragon Ball. I quickly gathered some of my stuff and flew off to find where it was. I was flying across biomes, continuing to follow the tracker when I came to a massive mountain biome. The tracker started to go off like crazy. I must be getting close. I didn't want Frieza sneaking up on me and attacking me again. I didn't think I would be any match for him still. I flew around the mountain. Once I reached the top of it, I noticed someone was waiting for me. It was Cell. What are you doing here? The same could be asked of you. I tried tracked one of the androids I needed to this location, but I lost his trail. You are almost a better find. Cell began to fly at me, and I flew towards him. He clashed, causing a massive explosion. Cell looked down on me. I hadn't hurt him at all. <laughs> you are still weak. You haven't gained any of your power back. I had to flee. I flew back toward my base. Come back to me when you're ready for a real fight. I returned to base, angry for my encounter. I can't believe I ran away from a fight like some coward. I'm so weak, but what am I supposed to do? I need to find a way to get stronger, and I must stop Cell. First things first, I'm starving. I went to the farm and took a sheep to make mutton. I cooked the meat and ate. Wow, I feel so much better. After eating, I decided to gather more animals for my farm. I used some seeds to lure chickens back and made a nice pen for them to stay in. I went inside and started to expand my base. I added an extra room just in case Vegeta wanted to come and stay here. I started to think of the best way to get stronger. How did I do it all of those years ago? I looked at my suit. That's it. I need to get back to the basics. And the best person to help me do that is none other than my master, Roshi. I left the base and began to fly toward Master Roshi's island. On days 24 to 26, I arrived at Master Roshi's house. Oh, there you are. Master Roshi, I need your help. Little turtle, you have returned. I have not heard that in a long time. I need your help to become more powerful. Cell and Freezer are back, and I have become so weak after Cell used the Dragon Balls to wish my powers away. Then we'll need to begin your training once again. Master Roshi and I went to the beach and spent time meditating together. He said it would help clear my head. He then asked me to fly as fast as I could and try to travel the world. I spent time flying through the air and did my best to increase my speed. I can feel myself growing stronger. Good. You are now ready for your final training. Roshi began to charge at me. I used my bow staff to hit him and then flew away and came back for more strikes. I could feel that I was more powerful than he was and hit him one final time. All right, all right, stop. Your, your training is complete. I can teach you no more. In order for you to become more powerful, you will have to unlock your super cyan again. Thank you, master. Suddenly, my tracker started to go off. Another dragon ball had been located. I was closing in on the location the tracker was pointing me. I suddenly saw a massive city, but it was in total ruins. There was destruction everywhere. I flew into the city, and not to my surprise, Frieza was there with two of his henchmen. Frieza, I should have known you would be here. The pathetic Fozo, here for another beating? I looked around and noticed that all the people were gone. What did you do to everyone? They wouldn't tell me where the Dragon Ball was, so I had to do what I had to do. We'll handle him, boss. You go and find the other Dragon Balls. Frieza flew off while his goons started to attack me. They threw at me and hit me, taking away a bunch of my heart. I started to feel myself growing so angry. I felt a surge of energy flow through my body, and I went Super Saiyan. Whoa, I have 20 hearts now. Oh no, his power level is growing. I flew directly at them and took one of them down with a good hit. You're next. The henchman flew at me and I was able to easily avoid his attack. I used my bow staff to take him down. The villagers hadn't told Frieza where the key was, but I knew it was still here because of the tracker. After some searching, I was able to find the Dragon Ball in the remains of the buildings. With the Dragon Ball in hand, I flew home. I arrived back at my base and began to work on my Dragon Ball shrine. I continued to expand it out. I knew eventually it would need to hold all seven of 
of the Dragon Ball so I can regain my power. I place the Dragon Ball next to the other. Two down, only five more to go. Then, I'll be able to defeat both Frieza and Cell. My run-ins with Frieza made me realize I need to get more upgrades if I wanted to stop him. I headed to a cave nearby and began to look for iron and diamonds. I did find a bunch of iron, but I wasn't able to locate any diamonds. After some more searching, I finally found some. Wait, only two? Ah, this is gonna have to do for now. I returned back to my base and completed my armor set. I then used my diamonds to craft a diamond bow staff. Nice. I'm definitely on my way to defeating them. Now you have nowhere to run. You are mine now. I'm not going down without a fight. I feel so powerful. I need to test my power. On days 33 to 35? Ugh. Is that Piccolo? Piccolo was at my base, and he looked badly injured. What happened? I was tracking Cell as he was following Android 17. I wasn't able to keep up with him, but eventually I did find him. It looked like he had changed. He laughed at me, saying he was almost at full strength and would be unstoppable once he was there. I wasn't sure what happened to the android, but I can only assume it was not good. I tried to fight back against him. But he was too powerful. He beat me into the ground and then laughed as he flew off, saying he was going to find something much stronger to test his power. We have to go after him, Bozo. I have to go after him. You are far too weak to be any help right now. You must rest and get your strength back. I'm gonna find out what he's up to. Piccolo told me where he last saw Cell, and I flew off to confront him. I was flying where Piccolo had encountered Cell when I spotted him. He was fighting something. It was a wither. Cell charged at the wither, and he took it down with a single hit. How did he get so powerful? I flew down and landed near him. Do you like my new form, Bozo? How did you get so powerful? I absorbed the worthless Android 17. Now look at me. I'm not even done gaining power. What do you mean you're not even done? Once I find and absorb Android 18, there will be no one to stop me. You're not even worth my time. Have fun with these. He flew off. What did he mean? Have fun with what? Suddenly, a group of withers started to attack. They did some serious damage despite my iron armor. I charged at one and started to fight it using my bow staff. But these guys had a ton of hearts. I flew in the air and delivered a serious blow, taking one of them out. The others continued to attack, and I was low on hearts. I was not nearly as strong as Cell. I had to retreat back to my base. I arrived back at home, feeling extremely defeated. I needed upgrades, so I went back into the mines and began to search for diamonds. I looked for a while and eventually was able to find enough to craft myself a diamond chest plate. This should help me withstand some more attacks. I checked up on Piccolo to see how he was doing. He looked like he had regained some of his strength. Is there anything I could do to help you? The dinosaur meat. It'll help me gain my strength back. I flew off to find a dinosaur. I finally spotted one and flew down to start fighting it. He charged at me, but I was so fast and able to avoid his attacks. I used my diamond bow staff to strike him and was able to take him down after a few good hits. I collected his meat and flew back home to cook it up. Once the meat was done, I gave it to Piccolo and he eagerly ate it. I hope this gets your strength back, buddy. Thank you, Vozo. I really appreciate your help. I can tell he was starting to grow stronger. I need you at full strength if we even stand a chance to defeat Cell and Frieza. On days 42 to 44, I woke up to the sound of pinging from the Dragon Ball tracker. I walked out of the base to use the tracker. But I couldn't follow it. For some reason, it just pointed up. Piccolo walked out of the base. Hey, are you okay? I'm good now, but I was trying to rest. What's with all that noise? I told Piccolo about the tracker, and he told me that it wasn't pointing up. It was pointing to his home planet, Namek. Ah, oh, man, we're gonna need a spaceship if we want to get there. Piccolo and I set off to the mines to gather the material we would need. We gathered as much iron as we could find, as well as a ton of redstone. After gathering all the materials, we headed home and began building the rocket. I said goodbye to Piccolo and hopped inside. I was off to planet Namek to find the Dragon Ball. On days 45 to 46, I arrived on planet Namek and began following the tracker toward the Dragon Ball. I arrived at a structure and the tracker began to ping erratically. Looks like I'm at the right place. I ran inside. There it is. But before I can get it, one of Frieza's goons showed up. You may have defeated Frieza's other henchmen, but you're no match for Captain Ginyu. Ginyu began to charge at me. He hit me and knocked me back. Wow, that actually hurt. I charged back at him, attacking him with my bow staff. That dragon ball belongs to Lord Frieza. This guy was tough, but I was much stronger than him. I flew into the air and landed on him, delivering the final blow. He was defeated, so I collected the dragon ball and began to make
make my way back to the ship. On days 47 to 50, I landed back and began to work on my Dragon Ball shrine. I added some additional details as well as a place for my third Dragon Ball. I was gonna need to expand this even more eventually, but for now, it was good enough. Once I finished, Piccolo walked up to me. It looked like he was back at full strength. That rest was much needed. I feel a lot better. I'm glad to hear that. We have some work to do. Piccolo and I began to expand our base. We started by building not only my house, but as well as building a home for him to live in. There we go. That's much better. After building Piccolo a place to stay, we began to build a wall around the base. This would prevent any dinosaurs from entering and would hopefully slow down Cell or Frieza if they tried to attack. On days 51 to 53, I woke up to a massive explosion outside of my base. I ran outside and Frieza was there. You will pay for what you have done to my men. Frieza began to attack me. He was much more powerful than last time. I flew into the air, but he quickly hit me back into the ground. How did you become this powerful? I have acquired three of the Dragon Balls. Soon, I will be at full strength, and all my powers will be back. I flew back at Frieza, and was able to land a pretty good hit on him. I can tell my powers had increased too. Enough of this. He hit me directly into the ground. I was stunned, and I couldn't move. I could see he was preparing for a final attack. Stop! Wait, Vegeta, no! Vegeta flew in between us, and there was a large flash. Suddenly, I was awake. Where was I? I was standing in front of a massive blue snake. Vegeta, what happened? We lost. There's no hope for us. You can't talk like that, Vegeta. I tried to stop Frieza and save you, but I think we both were killed in the process. So this is the afterlife. I guess we only have one option. We need to find King Kai and return to Earth. What's the point? It's over. We can't just give up now. We have to continue on. So we're gonna do just that. I began to run at the snake and started to make my way across it. It was massive and it looked like there was gaps in between that I would have to jump across. It was dangerous, but it was the only way out of the afterlife. I turned around and noticed Vegeta was following me, but for a second, he flashed out of existence. Oh no, Vegeta, if we don't get out of here soon, we will both perish here and be gone forever. Vegeta and I began to run as fast as we could, hopping from block to block to make our way to King Kai. I knew his planet would be located at the end. I just hope we can make it in time. We finally arrived at King Kai's planet and began to look for him. We approached his house and I called out to him. Hello, what are you doing here? Couldn't you be saving the world? That's what we were trying to do, but we were kind of killed and sent here to the afterlife in the process. We need a way to get back and to stop Cell and Frieza before it's too late. I'll be able to send you back, but you're not ready yet. You must each venture out into this afterlife alone and defeat what is there. After that, you'll have to make the hardest choice of your life. I listened to what King Kai said and headed off into this strange afterlife world. Vegeta did the same, but we set off in different directions. I wonder what he meant by the hardest choice. I had traveled for what felt like days when I came across this strange emptiness. I was surrounded by darkness as far as I can see, and it looked like I was alone. Hello, Fozo. I turned turned around, and to my surprise, I was standing in front of myself. Hey, what's the meaning of this? You will never be strong enough to stop them. You are wasting your time. Just perish here. It'll be easier. Maybe he was right. I wasn't strong enough. How would I ever be able to overcome this? That's right. Let yourself fade away. The more he spoke, the more angry I became. I charged at myself, and when I reached him, he vanished. Was this what King Kai was talking about? I began to travel back toward his planet. I returned to King Kai's planet. As I was returning, I noticed Vegeta was returning as well. Vegeta, did you do what you had to? I believe so, although I'm not sure how I feel about it. I didn't have time to ask him about his journey. King Kai came out and confronted us. Since you're back, I assumed you were able to defeat what you saw in this world. Yes. Good. Then it is time to make the decision. I only have enough energy to return one of you to Earth. What? You never said this would be part of it. How would I be able to defeat Frieza and Cell without Vegeta? Ozo is the one that must return. Wait, what? What do you mean? Vegeta, I can't do it all alone. What I had to defeat was my own ego. I needed to come to terms with the fact that you are stronger than me, and you'll be able to defeat them alone. Vegeta, no. You can't do this. There will be another chance to bring him back. But for now, you are the one who will return. No, wait, stop. There was a blinding flash of light. At last, I have you. Now it's time to become perfect cell. No, stop. Now the whole world will be mine. <laughs> and on days 63 to 65, I woke up back at my base. I was in my bed and Piccolo was in front of me. I stepped outside and saw the destruction Frieza had caused to our base. Together, we went out and gathered the material we needed to repair it. We began by rebuilding my home and then Piccolo's house. After finishing rebuilding, I set off to a nearby cave and was able to find a ton of diamonds. I used the diamonds to finish my armor 
armor set. I hope now I would have more of a fighting chance against Frieza. I returned back to where Piccolo was waiting for me, and he told me that he knew where the final Dragon Ball was. The Dragon Ball in the mountains. Frieza never located it. We have to get there quickly. Piccolo and I set off toward the mountains in search of the final Dragon Ball. Piccolo and I arrived at the mountain where the Dragon Ball was located. We began to search for it, and eventually we found it. It was right on top of the mountain. Before we were able to return to base, Cell showed up. He looked different, though. What happened? Do you like my final form? I need to test out my power. Cell started to fly directly at us. I began to fight Cell using my bow staff and tried my best to keep him away, but he was too fast. He kept getting close and taking away a ton of my hearts. This is what true power looks like. Before he can deliver the final blow, Piccolo returned. He began to fight against Cell, but he was clearly outmatched. You're not even worth my time. He hit Piccolo and he dropped to the ground. Cell then walked over to the Dragon Ball and grabbed it. He flew up, and I rushed over to Piccolo. It's okay. He's gone now. Our time is over, Fozo. You must gather the remaining Dragon Balls and use them to unlock your power. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Piccolo, stay with me. You're gonna be there too, okay? Don't worry. I'm afraid this is the end for me, Fozo. No! I began to feel so much anger in my body and a big surge of energy. Suddenly, I was transformed into a Super Saiyan God. I had 30 hearts, and I could feel myself growing so powerful. I'm gonna remember you, Piccolo. I flew off toward my base. I returned to my base and began to feel terrible for what had happened to my companion. He had sacrificed his own life to save me. I need to do something for him. I went out into the world and found a desert biome. I began to collect as much cactus as I could and then headed towards home. I smelted the cactus to create green dye and then used the dye on the sheep. I then collected their wool to use it to create a monument for Piccolo. I wanted him to be here with me even though he was gone. Suddenly, I heard the tracker going off. It had located the remaining Dragon Balls. What was the point in going after them if we all lost? I remembered though, with the wishes that Shenrod could grant me, I could not only bring my full power back, but I could also restore Earth the way it was with all my friends back. I knew I would have to face Frieza and defeat him. I set off not knowing if I was ready, but I had no choice. It was now or never. On day 74 to 77, I arrived at the location the tracker had been sending me towards. It was an island with a massive volcano in the center of it. I flew to the top of the volcano, and not to my surprise, Frieza was there. This ends now, Frieza. Give me the dragon balls. You will have to take them from me, Fozo. Frieza then began to float into the air, and he summoned the power from the three dragon balls he had, and in a blinding flash of light, he changed. He was completely gold now. You don't stand a chance against me. Frieza began to fly toward me, and we started a fight. I was a lot stronger than I was when I faced him before. Frieza lunged at me and knocked me to the ground, but I got up quickly and continued to fight him. The battle felt evenly matched, but I started to feel something growing inside of me. A search of energy took over my body. Kame! Kame! No! When the light dissipated, Frieza was gone. I looked around the volcano and found the three Dragon Balls that he had acquired. I only need the final one from Cell, and I'll be able to restore the world. I reached back at my base and began to work on my Dragon Ball shrine. I expanded it to house the three Dragon Balls that I had taken from Frieza, and even added the final spot for the seventh when I was able to locate it. I then took the time to upgrade my base. I started to expand out my home and make it feel more like what it had been before Cell destroyed it. Everything felt like it was getting close to being back to normal. I just needed to find where Cell and the final Dragon Ball Ball was. Suddenly, my Dragon Ball tracker started to go off. The final Dragon Ball had been located. I flew off following the tracker and eventually came across some strange structure in the desert. The Dragon Ball tracker began to ping intensely and I knew the Dragon Ball must be inside. I arrived at the temple and immediately noticed a Dragon Ball was in the center of the room. But before I can reach it... <laughs> We have been waiting for you to show up. I turned and noticed there was a group of cells. These ones were different though. They were smaller and had a blue color to them. Get in! The small cells began to rush at me and attack me. They were definitely not as strong as cell, but they were fast and had numbers. I started to fight back using my bow staff and was able to take out a few of them. All of them began to rush at me again and I was starting to lose hearts. I couldn't give up now. Not when I was so close to restoring everything. I continued to fight them and eventually took them all out. That was a close one. Good. You defeated my cell. Juniors. I turned around and saw that Cell was standing right next to the Dragon Ball. What do you want? I want you back to your full power so I can 
really test how strong I am. Self flew off and left me with the Dragon Ball. I ran up and grabbed it. Once I arrived at base, I went directly to the Dragon Ball Shrine and put the final Dragon Ball there. I began to wait, but nothing happened. What was going on? Why is nothing happening? Come forth, Shenron, and grant my wishes. The ground began to rumble, and there was a blinding flash of light. I was suddenly in a completely different place, and the world was dark. Right in front of me was Shenron. What are your wishes? I wish for all my powers to be restored to me, so that I can defeat the monster of Cell. Wish granted. I felt so much energy, and I knew that my powers were fully back. My next wish. I wish for the world to be restored, and for my friends to be brought back. Your wish has been granted. Suddenly, there was another blinding light, and the ground trembled. I was back at my base, except nothing looked any different. Did my wish fail? The Dragon Balls had disappeared from the shrine. They must have been used. But why was the world not restored? Bozo, you did it! I turned around and saw Piccolo and Vegeta were there. It worked! My friends have been brought back from the dead. I'm so happy to see you guys. I could have found another way back, but I guess this works. Classic Vegeta. I'm just happy you guys are alive. Alright, listen guys, we need to defeat Cell and put an end to his madness once and for all. He has grown extremely powerful, but he made the mistake of letting me acquire the Dragon Balls to truly test his power. Do you know where he's gone? I don't, but I'm sure we're gonna find out soon enough. Fogo, Earth needs your help. I woke up and began to look around. What was going on? I am at my home world. I can sense Cell is back on Earth and he is attacking it. Earth needs you, Fozo. You must travel there and defeat him. But how? How will I do that? What if I'm not powerful enough to do it? You are more capable of defeating him if you believe. Now you must go. You don't have much time. I ran to Piccolo and Vegeta and told them that Cell was on Earth and he was starting to destroy cities. I explained to them that we need to act fast and get there quickly or else there was going to be no Earth left again. Once we were done, we boarded it and set off. I began to think back about all the challenges I'd faced throughout my 100 days, but nothing Nothing has stopped me or my friends before, and nothing is gonna stop us now. On day 100, we landed on Earth in the middle of a city that Cell was attacking. There was destruction everywhere we could see. Cell's <laughs> minions spotted us and began to attack. We started to fight back, and the three of us were able to easily take them on. Our victory was short-lived as we noticed a group of them attacking villagers. We rushed to save them, and we were able to take them down. They won't stop attacking the city as long as Cell is still alive. Fuzo, go and find him. We'll hold the rest of them off for the villagers. I did as I was told and flew off to find Cell. I eventually found him as he was finishing destroying a house. Cell, this ends right now. <laughs> this is just the beginning for me. I'm glad you came to face your death. He rushed at me and hit me, sending me flying into a building. I got up, delivering a powerful blow. Ugh, your powers have increased. This will be an even fight now. We continued to fight, both of us hitting each other with powerful attacks, but neither of us was going to give up. He rushed at me and hit me to the ground. I felt weak and thought this might be the end, but I know that I can't give up now. I just can't. I have to believe in myself. Kame, Hame, ha! I unleashed a massive blast of energy directly at Cell. Cell was defeated by the blast, and the world was finally saved.